did a whole bunch of stuff and I got it here, but I should move on. No. Oh. No. <laughs> you want to see that part? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's in the earth. It's in the earth exactly where he said. And of course, these points right here are the stellations that I just showed you. There's also here on the top is the triangle with the other part of the stellation. And of course, this one is way out there. Which is the objective. This is objective work. That's this part. It was way out here. And of course, this part is the one I'm showing you there in the wire. So I said, okay, there's energy points. This should be something out there. If that's really true, what's out here? Well, no, that's good you said that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Thank you very much. <laughs> that is cool. I that's worth it. Now it's interesting. I drew the form in the Earth. This is a three-dimensional projected geometry because it's showing one view uh, that's moving in time. Uh, here's the form, here are the points, and here is the sphere of the Earth. If you put the moon on the top of the sphere of the Earth in this proportion, it sticks out exactly as far as those points do. Hmm. Uh, what about this one? Where is this? What's this doing here? Well, that's a lot further than the moon. Well, the diameter of the moon, the diameter of the moon is 2,160, so that's how many miles that this guy goes out. So what is out there? So this is what I found out there. <coughs> the Van Allen belts are out there. These are uh, donuts of energy that goes around that soaks up the rays from the sun that are harmful to our Earth and keeps it safe. And they know this because they shot a rocket out here. The guy was named Van Allen. The wire pound went off went off, went back on, went off, and they kept going around and around and around, and they finally found out that there's two domes. And that's where these points are, these expand and contract a little bit. So it's pretty on, pretty on. When this expands, it's right on. Uh, you know, this, 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 this diameter could be what real science is talking about. You know, old sun, old moon, how Earth is getting more and more constricted, dense. It's the, it's the most dense planet in our solar system. These could be where it was before. Because Rilas Naren talks about that. But at his time, there was no knowledge of any of So he said that the Saturn sphere was where the Saturn was going around in its orbit. That was the size of the Earth in the Saturn period. Yeah. So why do I have two here and two here? Because there's only one. The reason is, is because I put I put this form in the earth. And this is what it looks like. <coughs> this is the sphere of the earth. And these are how far they stick out. And there's Van Allen belts here and Van Allen belts here. But I am finding out. But you know, that's beautiful. <laughs> and that, you know, that, that's that's how the Van Allen belts, I think, may be coming in. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I put my form into geometry. You know, you have to put things into geometry. You have to put it into science. And so this form is coming from three stars. It's coming from three pentagrams. That's the precise geometry of this form. You think, oh, where is it? Well, it's right here. <laughs> I can't do science all the time, so I do a little art, and the art is science too. That's the form. That's the seven-sided form I've been showing you all this time. But the geometric part of it that comes out artistically is represented uh, in, in a geometry form. 
So I have, if you notice that this goal here, which is a being behind this form here, and the pentagrams, uh, and this is precise, this is very precise in its drawing, but there's a little bit more here than maybe you think. <laughs> about the earth. At the same time we're studying this, this came out. Scientific America said, sculpting an earth print is hell. Perfect for me. <laughs> he, they said, the scientists said that this is the inside of the earth uh, as a CAT scan and as you slice the pieces of layers of the earth down, uh, the red gets stronger and the blue starts to disintegrate or go away. And the blue is the very deep part in the earth. They're roots, like the root in our teeth. They go down and deep. And I said, okay, I went to Caltech Pasadena, and I went to this guy, I said, what's going on? I didn't tell him I was doing it. <laughs> but he said, we don't know. We don't know what this is, we just can record it. That's normal, right? So I decided to take the seven-sided form that was in the earth, and of course, I can lay mine out flat, just like the world is. I know how to do that. And I found out that these lines are where this form is in the earth. And they are real close to some of these. The ring of fire is just almost perfect. This is where all the volcanic activities are. These are the deep roots of the earth. So what I'm trying to show you is that you do, when you do find something, you've got to go back into science and try to find something that correlates with what you're doing to find out if this is fantasy or what. <coughs> Now, at the top of the earth, according to the form, and Ruta Steiner's indication, there's a triangle. And the top of the earth, uh, let me show you both of them. They've got now these satellites that are going around that can measure right through the water and show you what's underneath the water perfectly. Oh, and of course, you know that. There's a triangle on the top of the earth, according to him. There's a triangle. There it is. Interesting enough, when you look at the top of the earth with no water, there's a triangle. There is somewhat of a triangle, not a circle. It's a triangle, it has three points. And then if you look at the other end, the south pole, well, it should be the same. It should be another pole or another triangle. So the other end. There's not. There's these big mountain ranges. I mean, that's definitely a cap. That's not a hole. And there are three arms coming out of here. If you look at the map of the South Pole, you'll see that there are arms. There's a big arm. It comes out around there. A second, smaller, and a little one right over there. But it's broken into three. The bottom of this earth is divided into three. And they're edges, not holes. And also, these patterns right here, these, these black lines, are what the Earth looks like when you extend it out to a sphere. They become curved. And these curves right here, that's the big arm. And look, it goes right against here, against uh, South, South America. And if you look at this globe, wherever there is an ocean, there is a triangle. And of course, triangle is the form for water in alchemy. So, here's this. The Pacific Ocean, there's a triangle. Okay, and over here, Indian Ocean, there's a triangle. And over here is the Atlantic Ocean, there's a triangle. And where the quadrilaterals are, which should be where the land is, because it's four, and Earth is four. So what's really neat is that this little island 